Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Eden! Oh, we're back at the top of the cycle. Let's do it, I'm ready. Eden start. Book of Sin. Fanny Pack? Book of Sin, Fanny Pack, KB, KB9V, 1JLB. JLB credit. Sponsor this video, and an extra spirit heart to start with is not that bad. How do I feel about this? Um, well, let's compare it. It's Blue Baby. But, we're starting with Book of Sin instead of the Poop. That's an upgrade. Um, our shot speed seems great. Our rate of fire seems not so good, as does our damage. But, I think Book of Sin is is good enough to make up for that. Of course, you know, Book of Sin is an item that is based, steeped in randomness, I should say. Um, so, really comes down to whether or not, uh, you know, we get those payouts when we need them. The first payout spirit art is extraordinarily good, though. Yeah, blow that up when there's nothing next to it. All the freaking spiders ran away. Put your tinfoil fucking hats on. Yo, fuck this room though. Fanny pack, paying out with something we can't immediately use. Yo, I might die on this room. I don't know how we don't, now that I look at it. Like, I don't know how we get out, <laughs> how we get out of this shit. Wait, you got me. You got me, game. We're gonna restart our Eden run. We got the tick, five hearts, it must mean we have the body? What is the, oh, it's lard, okay. And the d20. That was, I mean, look. That's on me, but at the same time, fuck the shit out of that run. And that room specifically, that was a goddamn nightmare. I saw the writing on the wall as it was happening. I encourage you to go try that seed and, you know, get it for yourself. We're on E77LGF1Q. Well, that's disheartening. Um... I don't blame the run so much. Even though our rate of fire and damage sucked, I, I blame the combination of the run and the room. That was just... and myself, but... I guess, in hindsight, I've never encountered a situation like that before, that I can remember. But in hindsight, what we had to have done, I think, to not at least take a lot of damage on that room and put ourselves super behind the eight ball, is... Wait until all the spiders are clustered, or clustered around the, um the uh, TNT and then blow it up. I'm, I'm a little faded actually, I gotta admit, after that last run I lost a lot of uh, a lot of the enthusiasm I had coming in here. It's been a good day of Isaac runs and that put a serious damper on it early, but we're gonna try to just, you know, start anew. There's nothing else you can really do here. Hey, fuck this room too! What are you doing? Just like, my angry Canadians coming out. What are you doing, you hoser? Fucking buds over here trying to spawn more enemies than the fucking conservative government, Reno. Fucking A, eh? Anyway. Get ourselves as far away. Like, there's almost nothing that can be done here. We're just lucky we didn't have random on this run and have to random the lost, or maybe we would have been out of our misery faster. Okay, all's forgiven. It's Ipecac. Ipecac plus a lot of HP plus a good spacebar item. This is now as close to a guaranteeable one run as is possible. Admittedly, a touch risky. But so much HP that I'm not crazy concerned about it. I'd really like that penny, actually. Like, that's... I'm not trying to hit it away. I'd like to keep it. I will re-roll those, just on the, you know, with the thinking that, um, oh, we can't take the Isaac's uh, fork, right. The thinking that they're going to be more valuable than an individual penny each, even though I, I could use the money. All we need on this run now, like, let's ignore high-minded fucking things that'll probably never happen. We don't need Pyro. Pyromaniac, I should say. Pyro's different. Uh, would it be nice? Of course it would be fucking nice. What we need, though... If we're gonna ask for the thing that's the highest priority for us, is increased rate of fire. Tears suck right now. We're gonna need to improve that, uh, probably, if we want to have a, a great chance of success. But I think we already have a great chance of success, so I should say a greater chance of success. Didn't mean to buy that, but hey! <laughs> worked out. Red Candle is doable in this, uh, in this kind of run right here. But I'm kind of just hoping to buy the Spirit Heart. Sorry, donation machine. It's got to be done. Um, I'm not... Like, I don't, I'd rather keep the D20. We can do some interesting stuff with it is what I'm, I guess, trying to get at. And we should blow up the pots. You never know. Swallow Penny is useless because of the tick. And because of its <laughs> uselessness. And there's two more pennies. So, I mean, Red Candle is a possibility, but I'd rather not. We're at three minutes on the first floor here. So, I am, you know... Ipecac has a tendency to give you short runs. 
I'm hoping to stick to that tendency because those are the kind of runs where I think I do the best, but there's probably some bias involved there. Yeah, okay, blow up the spider web, but don't hit either of the pots. Totally game. I feel you. Fuck off, spiders. I already dealt with enough of you today. Okay, the haunt. Might as well try to blow up some pots in the meantime. Get some baseline poison damage out of them. It's rate of fire, man. Not rain of fire, the Christian Bale, Matthew McConaughey movie when neither of them were really bankable action stars. Boy, how times change. That was a weird one. But we are done with this. And feeling great about our chances for the future, but... You know, a little disappointed with the fact that this is our second Eden run. But that's okay. Now we have a chance to build some positive morale from the ground up. I don't consider that, like... That was not a heartbreaking loss. Let's put it that way. That was a, a soul-destroying loss. But it's not like my hopes got up and then dashed. That was just... I never even had the chance to get off the ground there. So shit happens. You know, when you die before you even really have a chance to pick anything up, it's kind of like, you know, what are you going to do? I'll, I'll take the blame for it, but at the same time, fuck that. Um, let's, we don't need to dwell on that anymore, even though I'm consistently dwelling on it. We'll come in here and we'll play the shit out of our blood bank. Hoping to get some money, and uh, this is a great opportunity to set up a room to be uh, re-rolled with the D20. Oh, that's good. Save a little bit of HP, because you never know what's going to happen here, right? We already have 19 cents, so the shop is good. But we'll get another charge on our D6, and then fucking go to town, boys. Going to be a real gonk show tonight. Real fucking rager. Mom's pearl, or mom's purse, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we'll take our charge immediately. I think we should take this as well, because I don't trust myself. And now, immediately, now that I have it, I'll probably just try to spend my red hearts on the blood bank a little bit more. Well, no choice to pick that one up, I guess. So we'll go like two more. Should probably take the nickel. Go one more, because we're going to reroll some of this into red hearts. And spirit hearts. Um, so yeah, you know, we can we can make use of store credit for now, for sure. That was a like very win-win-win situation. Don't want to use store credit right now, but on the next floor, it uh, seems good, you know. Nothing there. Quite slow for a uh, an Ipecac run. Shit happens though. It's all about the deal with the devil on this floor. And again, it's it's tears upgrades, man. Anything that increases our rate of fire, damage is fine. Nothing wrong with damage, but it's all about rate of fire right now. And if we can get like some speed or the ability to fly. Anything to help us out with our positioning. Cricket's head, yeah, I mean, all things considered, I'd probably be, you know, totally okay with Cricket's head as well. <laughs> not, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm assuming that would have found our secret rooms if they were there. And of course there are cooler synergies that we can get as well. I'm not really concerned about cool synergies. That was dumb. I'm concerned about uh, good synergies. Synergies that can, you know, help us win the game right now and... Recover after a stupid loss. Monstro, uh, yeah, I was gonna say. If you're gonna have a bad time, man. Two-shotting two of you feels pretty sweet, though. Inside of here. Um, as much as I love Ipecac, I am totally in the mood for a mom's knife run. Absolutely. Enemies are no longer gonna explode. We're gonna have great damage. And if you're mad about this, the last time we had a vanilla mom's knife run, like, without the brimstone combination shooting the knives, it was a while ago, so I feel, like, totally justified. Um... We can't re-roll the books. We could pick up four of them for the cost of a Spirit Heart just by using Book of Shadows, as long as we got Book of Shadows first, but since we can't re-roll them anyway, I don't, I don't think it really matters that much. If there was Book of Belial in there, I probably would have taken it. Since there's not, uh, I'm, I'm not going to sweat it at all. We need some speed upgrades on this run. We are a little bit behind schedule. We're on uh, Curse of Darkness. That's not a big deal. And neither is being a little bit behind schedule when you have Mom's Knife, and neither is skipping Boss Rush, even though it has played a pretty integral role lately. Boss Rush reminds me a little bit of Guppy. Seems to come in fits and spurts, you know? There are times when you can't not get Guppy. And then there are times when no matter what you do, it seems like you're only getting one or two of the items. One bomb for that seems like an obvious trade, but we'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. For right now, super easy fight there. 
pentagram gray pickup. More deals with the devil in the future. Gotta hit up our item room on this floor, though. And this is looking very, very one right now. Let's be honest about that. Hematomesis. Uh, we didn't pay much for hematomesis there to learn what it is. So I'm totally fine with that. Fuck your creep. Fuck your bullets. And just fuck you in general. I'll come back for that bomb if I remember. And if I don't, well... That's fine, too. Rate of fire? I mean, it's not as big of a deal with Mom's Knife, but our rate of fire is still so bad. Store credit? Yeah, we'll take Nun's Habit here. How could we not, eh? 8 minutes, 11 seconds. I hope people don't take this as me making fun of Canadians in a non-self-deprecating fashion. I grew up in the country. I hope that's not, like, my equivalent of being, like... You know, I, I can't be racist. Some, some of my best friends are not white, you know? But I grew up in the country. Those, those are those are the people I uh, spent my formative years with. I have a lot of reverence for them. And in many ways, I uh, spent a lot of my childhood as a little bit, not much, but a little bit of a redneck of myself. It was more like a, you know, a city dweller in redneck's clothing. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. There's not really much we can do about that. Hematomesis becomes... Wow, we recovered a lot of time quickly there. Hematomesis becomes great for us if we get an arcade on the next floor. Or with D20, I mean, you could just make a good case for using Hematomesis anyway, but it's probably best if we use it on the next floor. Bomb for a key is not a bad trade now, but we're so slow that it's very hard to motivate me to do any backtracking whatsoever. So let's head down to the next floor. So we can play the shit out of Blood Bank with Hematomesis and then re-roll the resulting Red Hearts. Man, Chris of the Lost. Annoying. Just <laughs> gradually getting closer and closer there. Let's see what we got. It is Fate for free. Now we can fly. That's, uh, that's a huge help. If you can't be fast, at least, you know, being maneuverable is, is super useful. Even with our shitty rate of fire, enemies are dying in one hit. As you would expect, I'm assuming. Except for the, for the fires, which are apparently the tankiest shit known to man. This should be a deal with the devil for us on this floor, so I'm hoping to be able to keep some red hearts. Or sorry, keep some spirit hearts in reserve, just in case. Just in case things go a little wrong. Holy water. You've been out too long in the midnight sea. Oh man, the power flickered a little bit there. <laughs> it's probably because my, my singing was too metal. I, I don't like it when the power flickers. It scares me a little bit. Paralysis. We've never had the power go out here. It's not like... like I've had the power go out of my life, but... It's not like it's that big of a deal, but when I'm recording, that would be super annoying. Um, No more keys, unfortunately. That's on me. I did go to the item room, and the item room was holy water, so... I'm not feeling like the return on the investment for that key was particularly strong. Let's just go down here quickly, see if there's a... Uh, see if there's an arcade. does not appear so. I we might as well fight our boss quickly, why not? That's a good reason. Uh, and we'll take our HP, which might be very necessary here, and totally not Krampus. I think we can afford to take Ghost Baby, honestly, and like be totally okay with it. We're going so fast, we're about three minutes ahead of schedule right now. We got a shop coming up, wouldn't mind a greed fight. But really, this floor is all about the arcade. I will sacrifice my eternal heart to get that arcade. Alright, well, oh, this is great, this is great. Okay, let's hematomesis. And then... Reroll it all. We got enough red hearts. We got a Joker card. Um, start cracking these open. Full health. Oh, that's so good here. And we do have uh, space for another trinket. Well, eh, we don't need to take uh, Pinky Eye because we have. Oh, this is so good. We have um... Ipecac. Yes, yeah, so we'll take the Joker card with us. I'm gonna leave the floor now. And now that we've used our D20, uh, I don't feel the need to really go to the arcade and lose our eternal heart just to re-roll the bunch of stuff that's in there. We might not even get the opportunity to do so, you know? So the Joker card is now whenever we have the availability. Like, whenever we don't get a deal with the devil, we'll use the Joker card. Sometimes I like to use it immediately on a floor just because it's nice to get a huge advantage. Like, if there's going to be a great item in there, I'd rather have it now than have it uh, at the end of the floor, but... We'll, uh, we'll not worry about that so much. We're going so fast anyway. Even, like, with the speed downgrades we've had. 
we're doing really, really well. I mean, we're at 12 minutes and getting faster every single floor. So this is definitely a run where I would be, oh, you know what, we could also use Joker to get out of the boss rush room. Which might be the way that we end up handling that. Again, I'm not making an, a concerted effort to get to boss rush at the expense of everything else. We've just been very lucky that we've been having some seriously fast runs here. I remember like a couple of runs ago, I was like, there's two kinds of Isaac runs. Runs where you stack up a couple of, or a, you stack up a one or two amazing items and just ball out of control. And ones where you stack up like 15 decent items and, you know, scrape together a solid win. This is right now one to two amazing items for sure. Speed up. Yeah, that's, that's huge. I almost, it didn't dawn on me for a second there. So, because we have so much money again, pretty much what we end up doing here is taking whatever nickels drop and re-rolling everything else. Extra... Why are we getting so many spirit arts there? That's... I like it. I'm not complaining. Let's re-roll these. And... Got a lover's card. Lovers in a dangerous card. But actually, it's like pretty simple. Um, no, we have chariot. Just figured we'd go through the, the bases here again. Because with Nun's Habit, I'm going to be able to re-roll the crap out of it. We might as well do it now. I re-rolled the Joker card. Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> oh, well. I'm an idiot. Well, now we'll have to do Boss Rush if we want to do Boss Rush. At least temporarily. All that for a card I didn't even want to take with me. I just got rid of it. But still, you know, we got, we got some advantages out of playing that Blood Bank, of course. Absolutely, there's options. Absolutely, Black Candle. Absolutely, um, Spirit Heart as well. Really big pickups for us. We're still about three minutes ahead of schedule, so... Nothing to worry about there. Really hope we get a deal with the Devil, otherwise I gave it up for... I, I gave up our deal with the Devil for nothing. Didn't get one. We'll take the Halo with us. Um, we've been to Item Room and Shop, so... I tend to feel like we can pretty much just leave if we want to. Let's pop that open. We'll take everything. You know, knowledge is knowing that you can use the D20 every few rooms. Uh, wisdom is knowing that you don't have to. Let's move it along here. We're at 14 minutes on what is basically an Azazel Run Mark II. And we're on the Depths 2 already with like 6 minutes to go. And if we pop our Devil card on Boss Rush, it should be very, very easy on us. But this is a, it's an easy run regardless. I'm just thankful that we were lucky enough to snag something like this after that terrible Eden start. Which now I don't feel... I, like Now that I'm removed from it, I'm like, you know what? I played like a piece of shit there. I probably could have found a way out of it, but I didn't think outside the box. Kind of resigned myself to my fate a little too early. In my defense, there were like 12 spiders. Half of them spawned more spiders, and they took like four hits each to kill. And I was firing about a shot a second. So that could have been a 45 minute long room if my math is correct. That's facetious by the way. But um, hopefully funny. Uh, Halo of Flies. Great item. Can deflect enemies that uh, touch me I believe. You know what? We might as well. Yeah, that worked out uh, just fine. Not a huge coup for us but... We can't guarantee that we'll find an arcade. If we did, though, we could make some really big things happen, especially considering how much time we have, even if we want to do that room which shall not be named. Um, we have a lot of flexibility here if we get an arcade. Plenty of good times to use the, the D20, get into the boss trap room. It's an ideal situation for us. Okay, just melee mom's knife is uh, pretty sweet right here. Now we just need Unicorn Stump. That's a joke. Alright, not a Crawl Space or... Ooh. Fucked up the diagonal there. Not a Crawl Space or a Black Market, that's fine. Awas Rune, uh, you know, it's still useful. I promise. We're probably about 60% of the way done with this floor. No shop yet. Which is actually, it's a good sign. It means that, you know, we still got a lot of positive things to look forward to, probably. And if you want to make a whole floor that's just this room, sign me up, game. I'm ready for that challenge run. No problem whatsoever. Alright. Consumables balling out of control. Oh, it's a double key room. Don't make me reroll my whole run. I've got mom's knife. Commenters are going to hold me to it. Five room. Five room. 
not a five room. Okay, but it's not a reroll room, so we don't have to sweat it. Let's reroll everything. Uh, probably Master of Unlocking beats Rusted Key because it accomplishes everything we need Rusted Key to accomplish. Devil, Death. Uh, not that big of a deal. Hematomesis would have been good to use before. Oh well, Devil card. Take it with us. Starting to think maybe um, maybe no arcade on this floor. Take the battery, why not? And we'll take this. And we got we got a chance to donate. Plenty of time to donate, actually, so let's do so. I was really hoping it would be a, a five pip room. Because if it was, we could actually do boss rush, and then if you want to get people super mad, you do boss rush, teleport out, do a forget me now, do boss rush over again. I can't even imagine. Yeah, no uh, no arcade. But we're we've explored it all. We're pretty much good to go here. I could have been in faster on that, but it doesn't matter because what we lost in like timing there, we're gonna make up for because it's gonna take you know <laughs> zero seconds to kill mom. Uh, yeah, dude, fuck it, sock it to me, Krampus, give me a lump of coal. Doesn't matter to me. And let's see what we got going on in boss rush. That scared me for a minute. I thought we lost it. Sweet. All right, boss rush. Bring me a dream. Probably Mulligan here, even though none of them are fantastic for us. I think we gotta go Mulligan, pop the Devil card. And this is amazing, because like, you know, people get mad at me for scamming Boss Rush. We've scammed Boss Rush a little bit lately, but at the same time, how many fucking times have we done Boss Rush lately? I'm used to scamming it like f four out of five times, at least. We've done it like two or three times in a row now. Just a testament to kind of like the great luck that I've had on today's runs, that I've been able to have the damage where I'm like comfortable doing Boss Rush. Um, the mulligan is not going to spawn many flies for us with Mom's Knife, assuming it works the same way that, you know, Guppy works, but... It's nice to have for the future, in case we, uh... In case we pick up something, like like Ghost Baby will spawn flies for us, maybe. Other familiars will spawn flies for us, maybe. I don't know. What else is it going to take? Skinny Odd Mushroom lowers our damage, increases our rate of fire, but it's not that big of a deal. And, um, Technology 2 lowers our damage by 35%. That's kind of like our calling card right now, is that amount of damage. It's disappointing. But, I mean, we're still in a great position here. We're going to have a great opportunity to use D20 at the end of this room, I'm assuming, as well. Plus, we get an item at the end of it. So, no big deal either way. Very, very stupid bit of damage there. But we spawned a fly. Watch out. Yeah. Obviously, a laser coming in there at some point. Who do we have now? You and Pin. Probably the easiest wave that we're going to encounter. And that's saying something. Because we got these guys as well. A couple of flies we should watch out for. I mean, we're almost done already. That's that's a testament to how our damage is right now. We're already on the horseman wave. This is more damage than we did last time. And that's, a, again, more damage for me. Oh, but there's a tinted rock in there that I didn't even notice. So, there's our, our spirit hearts return to maximum, which is ridiculous. And we're on the Fallen Wave already. This took like a minute. We're at 1923, which is just ridiculous. Probably X-Ray Goggles is the best here. Substantially. Got a Burkano Rune. Hey, Burkano Rune's pretty good. More keys and stuff like that. We'll head down to the next floor. I mean, it's pretty obvious at this point that this run is a foregone conclusion. We're going to win and we're going to feel great doing it. You know what Sloan said? If it feels good, do it. Even if you shouldn't, don't let people mess you around. That song is like, it needs a caveat. Because that's just terrible advice. It's good advice for like an anxious person who's afraid of doing something that they should do because of what people will think, you know? If you're talking about like, oh, should I ask Jennifer to the prom? And say, if it feels good, do it. You're like, fuck it, I'm going to ask Jennifer to the prom. That's good advice. But if you're an asshole... I feel like you can use those words badly, you know? If it feels good, do it. Steal your boss's Lexus. Don't let people mess you around. If it feels good, do it. Burn your neighbor's mailbox. Don't let people mess you around. It's like, come on, man. I'm being a real jerk about it. Um, I don't know if we can reroll live bombs with D20. You could in vanilla. We're going to try it next time we get the opportunity. We'll probably be able to come back into this very room and do it. <laughs> Is that's a good template for a joke there. If it feels good, do it. Insert something you shouldn't do. Don't let people mess you around. 
We're gonna get that tinted rock back there. That's a promise. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? But uh, yeah, we'll take one. We don't need to reroll the other stuff. Should probably take that. And we got our D20 back. That was real quick. Broke the laws of physics there. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nah, it doesn't reroll the live bombs anymore. That's really unfortunate. That was a really cool mechanic of having like the tower card and uh, D20 in vanilla. I only got to use it a couple of times, but it was a cool idea. Oh no, we're leaving a single penny behind. What a problem. I think at this point I can let my hubris get the better of me. We're probably not going to find ourselves uh, trapped in a closet like R. Kelly anytime soon. Like, oh, well, that's like what this run should be called. Because for real, we got trapped as hell in that first room. On that very first run. I don't want to talk about it. I don't think that's worth using the D20 on, honestly. We'll uh, we'll save it for a room, hopefully, like that uh, secret room there. If it's a bunch of red hearts, that'd be a great reroll. It's a bunch of red hearts. That's a great reroll. Goathead. Um, yeah, I mean, it guarantees us to deal with the devil right here. It makes me feel a little less salty about fucking up that Joker card. Definitely, we got to take Hematomesis with us. Uh, I know we have the cherry, but we got to take Hematomesis with us because it makes her such a good uh, D20 target. We can already fly, so Conquest is, or White Pony, I should say, is basically worthless. So instead, we get the amazing item of Little Steven. What a what a staggering value for us. And three of these bad boys. Alrighty. Not fantastic. It happens, though. And we'll use Hematomesis, uh, like, on the first room where we find a lot of consumables. It is dangerous, but... Normally when we use Hematomesis and then D20, we seem to find ourselves... Ah, let's try it. That didn't work out that well. Oh my god, what's going on here? What's a freaking message on Skype? What is going... What is this guy talking about? Mathis Games. Sending me a message. I'm just going to ignore that for now, because I'm recording right now. But, uh... In the future, we can have a conversation, Mathis, if you want to be an adult about it and not message me when I'm working. Um, okay. I was joking, by the way. I love that guy. Except I hate him. But I love him anyway. I'm not even going to D20 those. Um, I'm just going to go pick up the red hearts and then we'll do the standard thing and we'll D20 the, uh, the blood bank. And we have a battery so we can get a multitude of charges on it. It's risky, I'm not going to deny that. Get something out of it. We got permanent Polaroid invincibility. Get a few plays. Be careful though, we don't, really don't want to lose any spirit hearts over something so silly. Don't need the bombs for sure. Uh, don't really need the keys, so we'll just reroll it all. Go for the red chest first. That's pretty much what I was hoping for. Let's be smart about this though. We're going to do that. That. I can give up a spirit heart because we're going to be at the cap anyway. We might as well just go for it. Get the charge back. Um, we don't want the pill, maybe. Let's re-roll these. It would be so cool if we ended up becoming Guppy all on the same room. <laughs> I don't like our odds, but... You know, that, that would be neat. Explosive diarrhea. Alright, so we'll take Guppy's paw and we'll just max ourselves out. So we can get permanent Polaroid invincibility. Alright, let's let's just go win this run now. Because we're looking looking pretty amazing. I don't see any problems happening here. I'm even going to leave keys behind. That's how cocky I am about how the run is going. Guppy. Oh, no guppy. That's all right. Guppy's not a fucking uh, transformation, man. Guppy's a state of mind. I would have loved... It would have been hilarious if we'd gotten enough hearts on this floor to make ourselves guppy just through the arcade in the D20, though. That's the kind of thing that, that turns, like, a mom's knife run where people are like, Ooh, mom's knife into a run where people are like, Oh, shit, that was amazing. But, I mean, the Guppy's Paw pickup by itself was great as well. Anyway, this run, it's not a long run at all. But the the fact that we're doing so much damage has actually turned me a little impatient. I'm like, why am I still here at 24 minutes? Let's finish this fucking run. We're doing so much damage. I don't even roll out of bed for less than a 22-minute run. Uh, we don't really want to mess around with either of those guys. 
One-shotting Mega Fatty is a real good s Oh my god, you scared me. When I told you to knock... Thank you. I didn't mean open the door and then whi knock, knock. whisper knock I knock into knock, my knock, ear. And then open the door. It was, you didn't hear me, it so was, I went knock knock. It was, it was very scary. This is a scary moment for me. Thank you. All right, we're on we're on the same page there. Um, it's got to be down here. There's just there's not enough space, not enough real estate on the floor for yeah. It didn't. Okay, I can stop complaining now. <laughs> That's reassuring. Got to use the D20 at some point. Might as well crank on it there. See if we get anything. It's the mom's heart time. I don't know what we did, but. Uh, Oh, it was the tick. I was like, why did we take out some, so much of her HP right away? Well, that's an obvious uh, option there, isn't it? Hmm. Obvious uh, consequence, I should say. You should really, if you're gonna shoot bombs, you should shoot bombs, man. Do not hold off on that. That's your ace in the hole. You know what? I'm, I'm over this room already. I've decided I don't want to finish it, but we're already 90% done, so let's do it. There's a trade-off here, and yeah, I, I ate shit for that trade-off, but the trade-off is you can be safe or you can kill the boss reliably and quickly. I'm gonna... That time I took uh, reliably and quickly. Which is probably the same way I'm gonna do a lot of this. Because of permanent Polaroid invincibility, like walking up to an enemy, getting hit basically means they're dead. So, it's hard for me to be too bent out of shape about it. Like, just go stand right there. Oh, come on, hit me. I fucking dare you, dog. Easiest game of my life right there. We'll see what kind of synergies we get. This run is effectively over and has been probably ever since we picked up Mom's Knife, but I'm I'm psyched about it regardless. Okay. Do 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 we'll take the damage upgrade. Um definitely not taking soy milk. I uh I talk about having a commitment to absurdity. Soy milk is too absurd even for me, you know? Even GG Allen looked at some shit and was like, whoa, that's that's crazy. I'm not gonna do that. That might be a bad example. I don't know if G.G. Allen, G.G. Allen ever uh, had to say that in his life. The man shit himself on stage as part of his act. Not just once on like a bender, but like every time. So, you know, maybe not the best example, but you get the idea. This is what I'm looking for is something in here. Sweet. That was a really uh, productive series of events. Kind of just hoping that we can put this one out of its misery, move on to an Isaac run where we have a little bit more agency, but certainly, you know, a huge contrast between this run and the, uh, the, the first Eden run where I just capitulated instantly. Oh, this is already over. See if we can kill Sloth last. We haven't really been good about those kind of fundamentals on this run because we haven't had to be good, but, you know, let's get sharpened for the future because we're gonna have to be. Two of Diamonds, yeah, that's extremely helpful. Oh! <laughs> Chocolate milk Loki's horns. It's weird, at least, to finish this off. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Probably just go stand up next to him the same way I've done the whole time so far. And there we go. What an interesting run. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.